Hello guys and girls from all over the world inside this gigantic community. It's the Commander 35 back here and coming at you finally with another review. Today, another special review, taking a look at a custom action figure of mine, not just any ordinary custom action figure, a custom action figure from the Rhine of Cobra. Yes, before I get to that, I'd like to say, hope you're all doing well. I'm certainly doing fine, A-OK. -okay. Um, anyway, on to the main attraction of this video, um, the Rhine of Cobra. Hopefully, some of you... I'm pretty sure a lot of my subscribers would know about this by now, but if, if some of you don't, if you're a new subscriber or you just a new viewer, I don't know. The Run of Cobra is a major stop motion project I've been working on for quite some time. It's been years now. Originally, I was working on it like freaking in um, elementary. I was like writing stuff or you know, like gathering information on what I wanted to do, and I don't know how to explain it. Eventually, I started you know developing more skills, more you know, education, obviously, building a better and better story, and, um, finally got the story down, and it's going well, got a, everything's all planned out, we're in pre-development right now, just gathering all kinds of supplies, and just all that stuff right now, gathering a budget as well for the series, so yeah, all that stuff, and while all this is happening, I've been mass-producing custom action figures on my own, while I can on spare time, for instance, right here, which I'll be reviewing any second now. And yeah, just mass produced tons of action figures. For like, they could be main characters, they could be any character in the series. It could just be a character that's there for one second, gets his head blown off, and that's it for him or her. You know, it could be characters in the background, pig slaughter, whatever. I'm just developing tons of characters, producing them best I can. So I'll be ready for when the series comes, the time to film. So yeah. Anyway, here for you, enough of my blabbering, I've decided to call this action figure right here a Art Trooper Soldier, so let's get on to the review. Art Trooper Soldier. Um, now, how did I think of this guy? Uh, why did I start creating Art Troopers? You know, I'm a big fan of, like, Special Forces and stuff like that, um, you know, like, Art Troopers, of course, and Commandos. I pretty much started off with the original Clone Wars animated series, you know, with the Art Troopers so badass. And we get the second ser second season of it with, you know, freaking Fordo, freaking badass. And, of course, Republic Commando, the video game, that got me hooked. And that's something, like, I'm, like, really into Special Forces type stuff in the Star Wars universe, especially, obviously, clones. And, of course, right here we got, you know, um, an Arc Trooper costume in Phase 2 armor. Obviously, the Arc Troopers would get the Phase 2 armor first, which we, I think we did see them in the Phase 1.5 or something. Before they got the Phase 2 armor upgrades. Here he is right here. A custom. Um, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a main character, part of the main cast, of course. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it right there. Um, I decided this name. His name's going to be Lambo, or his nickname, since they don't really have names because they're clones of Django Fett, obviously. Yeah. So we focus this freaking thing up. Hopefully, it's doing well. Here he is. We can start off with the helmet. Obviously, uh, we got the blue theme to the Arc Trooper because, you know, the original animated series, I got that idea from, you know, the blue Arc Troopers, they're like lieutenants and stuff, very cool. I got the theme of the helmet all blue, like, blue design on the helmet, it's very cool, I like it at least, I hopefully you guys like it as well. We got the vents on the side, the blue over here all around, we got the, like, the blue stripe going down right there in the middle, which is cool as well, over here, it's got, like the, the blue is fading away type thing, like it's been weathered and damaged over time, and it's, you know, it's like tearing away, whatever, and there's the back of it, it looks really cool, I got some weathering details on the helmet, of course, and the virus has got some weathering on it as well, well, it looks pretty cool, I'll try to bring the figure up close and focus better on the chest, if you see the chest right there, definitely some scraping details on there, it's just pretty cool as well, I got the blue, I just kind of like painted the striper cloth, so, yeah, I'm making my own paint applications since this guy was already painted. There's a side and the shoulders. I did not expect them to come out that good. Well they're good in my opinion anyways. They look like they're pretty darn weathered. Paint's definitely fading away. Got the stripe on the arm and of course on the hands we got the uh, paint over there. Very cool as well. I gave me our trooper rifle right there from the Clone Wars. I believe it came with Commander Blitz, our trooper Commander Blitz. And his secondary rifle would be a 
DC Carbine, which is some blue paint on there. Where the hell did that come from? Anyway, I'll try to, like, get that off another time. Right, there we go. It's pretty much gone. Um, yeah. I gave him a jetpack. I have other, like, backpacks and stuff, but I just gave them this for now, just for temporary times. Because they will use all kinds of types of back wear throughout the series, of course, so it doesn't really matter. I'll weather that up, of course. And it comes with uh, the two plasma, not plasma pistols, what am I saying? Um, blaster pistols. I'm just a little bit obsessed with Halo, because I was just playing Halo anyway. Back of those got some nice weathering as well. On the comma, looks pretty cool. I just, I don't know, I just like pretended maybe he was running through obviously a war zone because they go through war zones occasionally, or not occasionally, like every day. Uh, yeah. So it's bound to be like mud splattering, explosions, you know, just all kinds of stuff. Raining and you know, everything. Some, anything could happen. You could get dirty in combat. And there we go. We got the blue stripes down the legs and the knee pads. And it's got lots of weathering, like mudish type stuff going over the, the, you know, boots, I guess. Clone boots. The knee pads and the shins. And uh, hips as well. It's all kinds of weathering beneath as well, so it's pretty cool. Yeah. Of course, he is different, of course. He has a ball jointed neck, ball and shoulders, elbows, silver wrists, ball hinged torso, silver hips, ball and knees, ball and ankles. So as you can see, pretty cool action figure. One more little detail, he does have the stripe on his arm over here going down. Like my favorite part right here, he's got nice weathering and he got the comm link, so that's cool as well. So yeah, weathering on comma as well, it's just, I don't know, it's just very cool. I think it came out decent, I got some requests to review this or just give a look at it and some people like it a lot. I'm not sure if I'm doing good at customs, but this is a custom right here. And I was thinking about maybe uh, sending out sample customs because I'm making a, you know, like a custom toy line of my own, so I was like for the round of Cobra, so if any of you like think that's a good idea or you want sample customs let me know because I'll be making some sample customs to send out for the series when I you know start making real legitimate characters anyway tell me what you think of the ARC Trooper Soldier right here if you like it figure please thumbs up the video um, I don't know I like him because he just looks kind of really good to me in my opinion the nice detail of course the paint applications that got him a nice rifle looking for that freaking so cool. Anyway, yeah. Tell me what you think. Thumbs up if you like this video. If you like the review, if you like my videos, check out my latest other review. Like my Facebook page as well. Like the Ryan of Cobra page, please, if you can. I'm trying to get all support can for the series. Um, subscribe for more reviews, comedy, um, you know, vlogs, hauls, everything you can imagine. All kinds of reviews. Let me know if you want anything particular. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you all for watching. It's reviewing me the Command 35. And until next time, may the force be with you. Sign up and prepare to go straight to your deaths in the Republic Clone Army.